the Grand Hall at the high school where it's the day of the day. It's the first annual event about HSA, the Hispanic Student Association. We are trying to explain our culture, the Hispanic culture, and how this is not a Halloween version of Hispanic people. No, this is day of the day. It's completely different. It's more about our ancestors and how we want to remember them and how we respect their dead and how we want them to come and taste their favorite food once more time. So I hope they learn more about the components, let's say, like the background and how this become like a tradition for like the Hispanic community, how this really impacts and helps like the family to remember their ancestors too. This is called an ofrenda, um, so it's kind of like an offering in the altar by putting their pictures on, their favorite foods, and maybe like put more decorations on it like these little flags. It's called papel picado. We also have like the little lights. Instead of that, we usually put candles. Like what happened before pictures? Another way is to have like the short store with their names on it. So I hope they learn more about maybe how to make the decorations, which is an activity we're making for them to actually do, like the actual flowers. Yeah, you were doing it, right? Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. If they're like not actually Hispanic, maybe that can be something they learn about it and they want to actually do it, like in their homes or something next year. I hope that they learn how we are really uh, into our culture, that it's a culture really pretty, that they need to learn more about it, more of the background, because a lot of people, it's like really confused and they do not know that we have a lot of pretty stuff in, in our culture. Basically, I want them to know that our ancestors are important for us. To take into respect to them is really important too, and that we have a diverse culture.